What's up, y'all? My name is Alan Henderson. I'm here with Kristen Lay of Thimble Press. Kristen, welcome. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Um, tell us a little bit about um, what you do and what Thimble Press is. All right. Well, Thimble Press is a graphic design letterpress, basically anything hand drawn, handmade studio. Um, I have three letter presses here in the shop and I print on all of them and with my original designs and then I sell them in the shop as well as online and through um, retailers nationwide and now in Canada and the UK. Okay, so you said you were out of state for a while. Um, what made you want to come back to Mississippi to be a part of our creative economy as opposed to staying in Charleston? Well, when I was in Charleston, I was heavily involved in several different organizations that did promote the creative economy and um, that really boosted local and um, buying local and um, lots of different creative industries. And I knew that when I came back, I wanted to be a part of that because I felt like Jackson, and it still is, is in this place of like rebirth. And creatives, the reason why they say the rise of the creative class has happened, which it's been happening since the Industrial Revolution, but the, the rise of the creative class is that creatives are innovators, which everyone's inherently creative, but innovation is what sparks a city and an economy, and people want innovation in their city, and they want it to grow, and technology has made it to where it can spread everywhere, and people can do business from anywhere. So when looking at Mississippi, I thought, I want to be a part of that. Tell us a little bit about the impact that a creative business, specifically yours, has on a local creative economy. Well, and that, I'm glad you asked me that because when I lived in Charleston, I was heavily involved with an organization there that really focused on buying local and spending local. And I tried to get all my products local if I can. The problem is a lot of them aren't available locally. Um, slowly but surely I'm finding more and more but it's a little bit harder um, but as the years go on and we get more of that here it's you know becoming easier to source things locally um, I use a local printer if I don't letterpress stuff um, and I use I just found a new paper rep that's here in town that I can get paper from um, and supply shops and you know hardware stores and and spending your money locally, when you do, you end up creating more dollars. I think it's, for every dollar you spend, you generate three more dollars in your city. Tell us a little bit um, about your business, the business part of Thimble Press. What are some of the growth numbers that you can generally give us? Gosh, so the growth kind of happened, like I was in my house working and I had a letterpress in my garage if it was cold outside, I was printing with a jacket on. If it was hot outside, I was sweating and printing. Um, and But, you know, you have to make those sacrifices in the beginning. So the biggest growth was getting this space. And then the next growth was getting an employee three days a week. And hopefully, eventually, she'll be full-time. That's my next big thing. Um, I have about 50 different shops that I'm currently in, um, Canada and the UK included. But yeah, everything is somewhere in the United States. So that's pretty neat to know that. Very impressive. Well, Kristen, thank you so much for allowing us into your, your new storefront. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Um, much success and prosperity. Um, on behalf of all Mississippians, we want to say thank you for being a part of our creative economy. Um, it's going to grow because of you. Well, thank you for bringing attention to all of it. <laughs>